Welcome to the Rusted Garden Homestead. Today's video is all about growing sweet potatoes in containers. It's the uh, latter part of September. We're going to go over tips for being successful in growing your sweet potatoes and we're actually starting with the final harvest or the final growth. You want sweet potatoes to get at least a hundred days worth of growth from putting the slip into the container. We're going to harvest out of this 10 gallon fabric pot from Root Pouch. I am affiliated with them. That's a great way to grow sweet potatoes. There's actually only one plant in there and you can see that a lot of the leaves have been chewed off by deer but that's all the vining right through there. It even went up along the fence all the way back there. So you do want to give them space. You can let them trellis. We're going to go over to a 20 gallon container in a second. I will show you um, the trellising I used for there. You can even see some of the vines back there. So one of the keys to keep in mind is, is you're going to need a lot of space for the vines to grow and collect sunlight. But you don't need such a large container. We'll harvest that in a second. I'm also going to uh, link in videos for starting your own sweet potato slips. That's basic, basically the greenery that grows out of a sweet potato. You can put it in water. I'll have a link for that video. You can also lay them on their side in seed starting mix and I found they tend to um, grow the slips better that way than in water. Either way you start them, you want to give them a good six or eight weeks before they would go out into the garden. So you know if you can get them out, you know middle of May, these plants love warm weather so middle of May, early June, that will give you your 100 plus days of growing time is perfect. Sometimes the slips don't start growing on the potatoes right away so you want to have enough time to grow your potato slips because you can't really find them and if you check out the videos below you'll see what a slip is. Um, they're hard to find you know at nurseries um, so growing your own is a great way to do it and you just buy any organic sweet potato set it up in water, set it up in the seed starting mix like in the linked videos. This is my 20 gallon container. All containers should have holes in them. They need uh, all container grown plants actually need good good drainage so make sure there's holes in there and there are four sweet potatoes in there four slips and they are just trellising up if you just want to skip the tips top part is from the 10 gallon container the bottom part is from that 17 to 20 gallon container this is all the harvest five plants in total uh, this metal that I found at Home Depot it's actually used for doing siding work or something like that. You can look for different things to repurpose at uh, Home Depot or Lowe's that will make great trellising for your plants and it's really really inexpensive. You can see now with our 40 degree nights the leaves are turning colors, they're fading, they are really ready to be picked. So as September approaches you're getting 40 to 50 degree nights, it's time to harvest. So let's go back to the first one. When you're growing your sweet potatoes, you want a nice loose starting mix. This one is a little bit heavier. I just kind of did it with the pot that was available. But you're, if you're going to make it, you use 50% earth from your garden or from your land, and you want 50% potting mix. Um, I'm sorry, 50% cocoa core, 50% peat moss, something that makes it really loose. If you're going to buy something from the store, although it's expensive, you want to use a potting mix. It should say potting mix on the bag. You just want a nice loose mix for everything to expand and grow in the, uh, the container mix. Now, if I lift this up, one of the things that I like about using these types of containers is the root systems grow into the ground. So they're not only getting moisture and fertilizer from what's in the container of the fabric pot, but the root systems go down and that's going to help support it if they're running out of water it's also going to help support it to get more growth and I think if we lift this up you'll hear the tearing but you can see the roots go through the fabric pots so you can get I think a little bit more size in your sweet potatoes using the fabric pots. All right let me set up the uh, tripod and we'll dump this out and see what grew. All right so here is all the vine that came out of the single slip that we put in there. Now remember, you want to start the slip six to eight weeks early. Check out the video descriptions on how to do that. This is what came out of the top of the fabric pot. And I just wanted to show you the roots that are coming out through here. This really makes a difference. I do recommend um, a minimum of about a 10 gallon pot. So when we flip this over, this is not the loosest soil, it was more clay. 
again about 50 percent well here you go that's pretty nice about 50 percent peat moss or cocoa core see if there's any more in there real quick so this is one slip just one plant and this is what I got out of here now this is about a hundred days if I was able to get to 120 days or a little bit longer these would get even bigger but that's not so bad for a last minute thought of I just tucked in that extra plant right into this container okay let's go uh, take a look at the plants in the 20 gallon right, container. there are four plants in here this is actually a 17 gallon container 17 to 20 and the trellising all just pulls right out and you want to rip out all your plants toss them to the side so here's one already two you can see that they're a little bit bigger in the larger containers three four that's kind of cool All right, so let me dig through and see what I can find in here. <laughs> That's a nice size. I mean, look at that. Oh, it's got some holes in it. We'll have to check that out. Nice size sweet potatoes, four plants. And that's not bad for a 17 gallon container. That's pretty impressive. Now, this again, is not the best soil it was a little bit more of my basic earth out here and I just tucked these in there without really prepping the soil let me just talk about soil prep so again 50% peat cocoa core 50% earth or buy a potting mix what you want to do and feeding these are really really easy fill up any container halfway something about this size one or two handfuls of any organic granular fertilizer just mix it into the bottom half put in the rest of your soil another one or two handfuls of any organic fertilizer that could be anything that has numbers around a five nitrogen five potassium five phosphorus up or down a couple is okay but it's just your granular in the bottom half your granular in the top half mix it through it's set up put in your plants and then you want to water this every two to three weeks when the plants are smaller about every three weeks when the plants are bigger every two weeks with a water soluble organic fertilizer I like using fish emulsion, but you can use any water-soluble fertilizer. Water-soluble means is it usually mixes with water. You pour it on the plant. Your plant can use those nutrients right away. It'll take care of whatever you're growing. So the ongoing uh, feeding for this, two to three weeks, the organic water-soluble. And then sometimes, you know, you know, maybe after 45 days, you could take some granular fertilizer, sprinkle it across the top. And again at like 90 days a little bit more you can't really overdo it but you don't have to get over involved with feeding and taking care of these so this is the growth after about a hundred days I could have started earlier maybe get closer to that 120 days and these smaller ones would have gotten up to size so a quick recap 17 20 gallon container great size you can see you'll get some large sweet potatoes Four plants are in here. If you use two or three, maybe you get some larger sweet potatoes. Make sure your containers have holes. These have to drain or they're going to rot. Organic fertilizer in the bottom half. Organic granular fertilizer on the top half. Mix it through. Water soluble every two to three weeks. A nice loose container mix. These need to be out in the garden for at least 100 days. They love the heat. If you can get to 120 days, better. And if you're going to start your own slips, start them six to eight weeks early. Hope this gives you some confidence to try sweet potatoes. And if you're going to grow a single plant, I recommend the 10 gallon fabric pots. You saw how well one plant did in there. So, hope this gives you some confidence to grow sweet potatoes. These will last for a long time. You don't have to use them right away. Please check out my seed shop at therustedgarden.com. And thanks for watching.